Top hand go. Go down. Good. Nice. Boom. Cool. Going across. First one that we're going to do is a general medicine ball punch. We're going to be in our split stance, squat down a little bit. We're starting from the shoulder here, okay? We're going to do variations where we are stepping back, using that stretch shortening cycle and loading up that hip. Here, loading up the hip to start off with. It's all about that speed, that impulsiveness from that punching stance. So start it from your chain. Yeah, that's it. Good. So quick from lower body, rotating through. Nice. One more. Brilliant. Nice and fast off that back foot. Oh. Brilliant. Good work. Okay, next one, we're going to be looking at the reactiveness of your back foot. Okay, so obviously you're going to do it south foot, but you do change. When you do your right hand, you do change into that orthodox position. So we're going there. We're starting off in a in a normal kind of stance there. Go back into the boxing stance, then come through. So it's all looking about stiffness around the ankle, driving into that back foot, and seeing how quickly going from that back foot, rotating through into the front. So there, and then rotate through. In normal stance, then you step back, and then rotate through. Good. Nice and fast off that back foot. Oh, that was too quick. I couldn't even catch it. Brilliant. Good work. Feel the other back foot. Go down. Okay, this time we're going to go both feet. So we're going to start off in the boxing stance, then we're moving out of range and then throwing. Okay, so it's almost like a boxing stance. This one, when you were standing there, that are more phys physiological. This is more specific, where we're in that stance, stepping back and driving through. Feeling. Feel that back foot. Go down, fire it through, all the way through from foot to face. Feeling. Good. Right, next one. It's definitely up your street. It's all about changing the angle, okay? So we're going to go. Finish off in this boxing stance, but we're going to start off side on. So it's like we're going to be punching that way. We pivot, then through. We don't have to be a, going from here, Lomachenko side, and throw it. Just there, side, boom, and then through. The face towards the camera, and then turn side on. Brilliant, good. Good, a little bit fast on that pivot. Good, one more. Fasten that pivot. Good in. Good in. Good. Next one, one of my favourites, this one. It's all about body punching, okay? So straight hand to the body, not a left up to the body, driving it from there. We're dipping down, then we're driving through. The reason why I like this so much is because it uses your lower body challenges your core in this as well because what you don't want to do is kind of dip down and come forward so you're using your lower body to sit back using your core more into this position and you're firing through so dip then drive okay you can take your time through it and then start speeding it up it's all about keeping that posture straight up not leaning over that front foot good in Hit down, then drive it through. <coughs> Maybe not that there. <coughs> Good. Last one. <coughs> Good. One, two. <coughs> so, this next one isn't necessarily specific to boxing because it is kind of like moving forward. Yeah, you move forward in a fight, you throw the shot, 
but wanting to take a few steps so it's like a running punch. I don't want to see you in the ring, winging them in. Okay, it's going forward, one, two, and throw. The reason why we go forward twice is because when we do move forward, what we don't want to do is fall in. So having two steps creates more momentum and challenges you more to stay upright. So it's one, two, and drive it through. Get that posture nice and upright as you go. Good. Stay a little bit more side on. Good. Lateral movement. One, two. Good. One more. Nice. That's loading up the hips, but now I want you to try and go a little bit faster into it, okay? You can either pull, then go through, like, like a skip into it, or you can go cross, then into the boxing stance, okay? So I want you to practice both. So skip, then drive, and then cross your legs, and drive it through. Okay, so skip into it. <coughs> Nice and light on your feet, a little bit faster coming forward. That's it. See, when you do it there, you're good, power, but then lost your shape a little bit. So as soon as you go, boom, then back. Brilliant, some power there, mate. One more, just like that. So you're starting there in your boxing stance, you're just going, boom. So you're almost going across yourself. So you go from this line to this line, there, there, then through. Okay. So like go across. Good. So you're getting a little bit more through that back hip now. Come on. That's power there. One more. Like that. Good. <coughs> on this one, we're going to be using mini bands, we're going to be popping them around the knees. The reason why is because it's a, it's a general kind of mistake that we see the knee drifting in, and this is using our ductors and switching off the glutes in here in that rapid hip rotation. Keeping the knee out, grabbing those hips will uh, increase the glutes roll in that rapid hip extension and rotation. What's important on this one, Vlad, is that that knee doesn't drift in. That band is kind of letting you drift in a little bit more. What you need to do is, is cueing you to push that knee to the outside. That's it. But not letting your knee drift on the inside. So it's all going hip extension, hip rotation. Good. One more. And drive it through. Nice. Okay, so on this one, Bob, we're going to have the band around your hips, which will force you to extend a little bit more, okay? What you don't want to do is it to shorten that extension and try and get that in other ways, either hyperextending or leaning forward. So sit back into it, boom, drive it through. And I'm going to be pulling on that band and drive it through. Good. Go a little bit lower. Good. One more, get them hips all the way through. Nice. Side on still. Nice, one more. Yeah. 